But what happens to your water pressure if you live in a building that's taller than the highest water tower? That's a problem that New York City first faced, more than 100 years ago, when it began to grow taller. There wasn't nearly enough water pressure for the topmost floors. The solution became an icon, a water tank for every building over 80 feet. Water tanks are old school, but they still work. Water tanks like these are replaced every 25 years. The job has to be completed in less than a day. A challenge American pipe and tank is ready to take on. While this tank is empty, this building has no fire protection. So it's pretty critical that gets back online as soon as possible. The team spends the first two hours dismantling the old water tank. Watch it! Next, they assemble a barrel large enough to supply this nine-story building. 5,000 gallons should do it. The team erects a circle of staves and then tightens them into position by a series of hoops. All of this while dangling more than 100 feet over the pavement. In New York City, all water tanks, old and new, are made of wood. Wood is a great material for an outdoor water tank. Wood is a natural product. It breathes. It does very well outdoors. When you actually look at this tank from the top, you will look down and you will see a true circle, perfectly milled and installed like a big jigsaw puzzle. Like all water towers, once completed, the tank will require very little attention to do its pressure-generating job. The water tank is a very maintenance-free type of system. A small pump in the basement fills the tank, and gravity just does the rest. While New Yorkers are proud of their rooftop water tanks, some landmarks prefer to keep them out of sight. The Empire State Building was one of the first skyscrapers to hide its water up top. So even if you don't see them, water towers and rooftop tanks are up there providing constant water and steady pressure.